So guys, once again we are hanging out at the Chili Festival with Tiggies. She's all about the Ethiopian flavors. I can see some Ethiopian coffee, people. Ethiopian garlic sauce and chili. So yes, Tiggies, tell us more about what you're doing. As you know, it's a lot of love for hot sauces. Yes. So we have this one called uh, Kutsisi Amharic. We call it Medita. Usually we use this one for eating raw meat. Like when you say raw meat, are you talking about like raw donkey meat? Cause that's what your guys eat in Ethiopia. Like yo man, is that like that? Yeah, we love we love raw meat. So it's very very tasty. Nice now when you say that Ethiopian coffee is sweet, you, you know you guys yeah, like you guys smoke that coffee too you yes. can it is I don't even have words to describe your coffee man like because it's, it's now let me tell you guys listen up Ethiopian coffee is not your regular instant coffee please don't try and do a top and coffee instant you're gonna ruin it and i'm gonna slap you so yes one word a top and coffee brew the shit out of it three minutes on the pipe so yes we were talking about a top and coffee tell us more yeah, so that's a place called Igachef. It's a very, very fine beer. So usually I uh, brought the fine green beans and then I roast myself and then I grind it. Even me, I'm a cocoa. I love coffee. That's uh, my day to go now. Most of the ingredients actually for the even the chilies and the other products we are using from the local market from Nairobi. So that's it. Um, question to to you. You say you guys eat donkey meat. You also have habesha. You also have injera. Now your food is slightly very different. It is spicy. But it is spicy with some, you know. <sighs> you want to tell us more about this cuisine, y'all? Y'all, it's like, come on. Yeah, like um, I think the injera is not spicy. It's like that sour taste because of fermentation. You have to ferment in order to get that injera. And uh, you know, injera is like very healthy because it's gluten free. And then uh, all the sauce, like usually I don't have the product here, but like we use another chili powder in every hour sauce. So like most of the hours food are spicy and but it's also healthy. So you had it from Tegesh that Ethiopian coffee, Ethiopian food, it's amazing but it's not for your regular palate. So next time you enter an Ethiopian restaurant or you're visiting Ethiopia or you have a chance to enjoy Ethiopian spices or coffee, please hit Tegesh, she will give you an amazing array of chilies and coffee that you need to try. The Ethiopian coffee for guys, let me tell you, it's a secret recipe for energy yeah. your energy super coffee yeah. it gets you super super yeah, yeah. any last words yeah, yeah no like yeah just check yeah come and um, taste our coffee our chilies and everything and then you can also find me on uh, my instagram yeah, that's it. thank you so much yeah, okay.